As we get ready to Hockey Night, Swindon Link Center. It's a night tell for Tigers, the opposition. Big night in Swindon Town with Jan Carlson. It was last weekend for the Swindon Wildcats. A lot of players will come and go throughout this league, but he stood up. Class individual, ridiculous work right off the puck, and has set himself in stone as a fan favorite since his time in Swindon. Really class player. Brings a lot of energy to the Wildcats roster. They'll be led by Aaron now, Thomas Walizinski, Max Beerbrar, and the last week, the ridiculous line of Chris Jones, Edgar Bebris, and Tom's Ruggers with the rock solid support line of Floyd Taylor, Loris Taylor, Luke Johnson, and Sam Bullis. Nick Flory in their top import has been a really special player throughout the league. Ollie Lord in the back end just been named to the GB under 20 team. And back in that, Bradley Day, part of the Sheffield Steel Steelers lineup last season. And Rene Marr in net for the Swindon Wildcats. Should be playoff hockey here at the Link Center. Both teams one and two in the league. Definitely got a playoff atmosphere at the Link Center tonight. Got free golfers going to take the whistle. He's going to take a better dump than that. Comes across to McKenzie. Beerbrow wanted that puck. Good wraparound far on the far side. Would have been more effective. Back in the Rose. Rose goes over to McKinney. McKinney, surprise shot on Rene Marr over the shoulder. But again, Andrew McKinney, nobody was expecting that shot. Puts Telford ahead by one. But Andy McKinney gains the blue line. Defense backed right in. Rene Marr was expecting a pass. And over his shoulder, puts the Telford Tigers up by one at 7.49 remaining in the first period. Costa still on the puck. Yeah. Off the bar, it slips in, yeah! Costa! Picks the puck up much like Andy McKinney. Fires at Bradley Day, caught flat-footed, hits the bar, hits him in the back of the shoulder. And gets that Yan Costo bounce, rolls over the goal line. Big, big response from Yan Costo. 17-22 on the clock. Swindon Wildcats one, Telford one. Back into McKenzie. McKenzie plays it deep into Florian. Florian plays it across and McKinney over the shoulder. Option was there. Goes between the legs of Rene Marr from Thomas McKinnon. 14.53 on the clock, Swindon down by one. And again, a shot just like in the first period by McKinney, much like Yan Costo's goal. The shot from outside the perimeter gets between the pads of the Wildcats keeper. Telford two, Swindon Wildcats one. Face away, back across into Oliver. Oliver steps out through the middle, back across into Moreland. Moreland fires that puck deep into the corner with Mitchell. Goal from Telford again out of the corner. Comes up to chip play from Jed Moreland. Vacation in front of that net, but again, Rene Marr gets caught cold on the goal line. So we're here for Back into Malazinski. Malazinski walks it through. He's at time and space. Big save from Day. Beerbro goes wide. Catches Poos and Tyler Poos. Gets him behind the Telford defense. What a pass from Max Beerbar. But Tyler Poos made no mistake about that goal. He gets him behind the Telford defense. Absolute laser beam and over the shoulder of Bradley Day. But that kid, Tyler Poos, has got some game. He's just got to show a bit of confidence on that puck. When he's confident, the kid can go. 140 remaining in this second period. Swin the Wildcats two. Telford Tigers three. But Are on the puck, still in the corner. He's got to keep that puck down low. He's outnumbered one on four. Back into Lord. Lord turns that puck over. Wildcats break free. Malazinski, Malazinski back to Nell. Big set, big goal for Aaron Nell. They've been fighting that puck for the past two weeks, but Aaron Nell, Malazinski, and Max Beerbrow, you can see by the celebration that meant more than one goal, but Aaron now puts the Wildcats back into this game. Swing the Wildcats three. Telford Tigers three, but again, Malazinski sweet on the puck. Holds that play, finds Aaron now wide open. He buries in the back of that net. They know that line's been fighting the puck last week. 
That's that goal they wanted to get themselves back in the game. That confidence boost that the goal scoring touch hasn't left them. It's just been away for a bit, but Aaron now puts the Wildcats back into this game.